Welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And what day is it, folks? It is Dehydration Friday. And what are we doing today? Well, it's everybody's favorite. Corn. I mean, who doesn't like some good corn, right? I mean, today we are dehydrating corn. And we're gonna get going on that in just a second. So stay tuned because another exciting dehydration video coming to you live from Survival Preparedness for Beginners on Friday. Be right back. Okay, everybody, you all know the drill. You know what goes on here, right? We use the frozen corn and frozen vegetables and everything else, so this way here, a process has already been done, saving us a whole bunch of time so that we have more time to do other preps, right? I mean, that's the whole key. So you need your handy dandy scissors and your frozen vegetables. Make sure you put your screens in because these suckers are already real little. You know, it's corn, it's frozen corn. It's gonna fall right through the hole as soon as you pull it in there. So you gotta make sure you put your screen on. So just take them, just open up the bags. <clears throat> Pour these in. And I'm thinking with corn, we're probably going to get one bag per tray since this stuff is so small. Like that. All right. Now, see, so you just keep going. Now you can use any kind of uh, frozen corn you wish. Um, you can also use canned corn. Uh, you can use canned vegetables also, you know. I mean, it's whatever you choose. I just like using the frozen ones. Just spread them out really good on your trays. Um, this way here, everything's already uh, good to go. You know, I mean, it's just, it's an amazing thing, you know. Do a little dehydration Friday. Everybody likes corn. Just take and just spread that right out. <clears throat> yeah, we're doing here. We got a couple more to do. I'll get those all done, and I'll be right back. You all don't go anywhere. It's corn. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as we can see, the trays are full. Now, what we're going to do is, let me just take and adjust this just a little bit so we can see. Yes, I am in my garage. My garage is going to be turned into my second kitchen because I'm going to start doing some cooking videos also. So let's get these trays on here. These bad boys going. Now, corn does go at 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and it goes anywhere between 8 to 12 hours. Now, it does depend whether if you are using frozen, thawed, or raw corn. Now, from what my book and everything says, if I'm using frozen corn, it should go 10 to 12 hours. So, we're going to start with 11 hours on my machine, as you can see right down here. And then we are going to check them at that point. We're going to let these suckers run overnight. And welcome to my new kitchen, Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I will catch you all in the morning for the finished product. Have a good night. Hey, good morning, everybody. And guess what? Overnight, the dehydration did its job and dehydrated everything. I did end up doing it for a total of 12 hours on my dehydrator. We did corn. Everybody's favorite. We love corn, right? Okay, so what do we got to do now? Well, now we have to take and take everything, the corn from our trays, and we're going to transport it and put it over here onto the aluminum foil to make it nice and easy to pour into our container. So while I move all this corn, as you all can see, 
It's all nice and hydrated. Sounds like cornflakes. I'm just gonna take and Yeah, you gotta get a few that run away from you. We're gonna do one tray, and then I'm not gonna bore you with everything here. Unless you like being bored with me pouring things. Mm. Now, a great thing about this particular dehydrator. Now, I did notice in some of my comments, some people noted that their dehydrators, their trays and stuff will not fit in the dishwasher. And on this Hamilton Beach model, these things fit perfectly in my dishwasher. You can throw them in there. If you want, you can do a sanitize. If you're going to be doing more, you know, throw your jars and stuff in and sanitize them. So it's all done for you. I mean, it's really easy. Just put it right in your dishwasher, hit the sanitize button, and voila. Your trays come out clean, your jars come out sterile, and ready to go to put your product into. And then you can always do your lids in hot water on the stove. You, I don't know if you want to put those in the dishwasher too. Um, I've always just done those right on the stove to sanitize them in hot water. So I'm going to get dumping all this into here. I'm going to show you one, and then I'll do the rest. Now, depending on what size of aluminum foil you want to use, you can do more than one tray. And look at that. One tray, down, done, and I've got four more to go. So I'll be right back with the finished product on corn, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, we've emptied all the trays and everything else. So five bags of dehydrated corn yielded one full jar. Pretty good, huh? There's even room if you wanted to put an oxygen absorber in here. All right, you want to put that in there? I'm going to vacuum seal mine without an oxygen absorber because I haven't had any problems doing that. But I am going to bring the camera in because I want to show you something that I found out. Okay? So I want you guys to get a good look at this. So hold on one second because I think I got a good tip for everybody out there. Here we go. As everybody can see, there's corn in the bottom of my dehydrator. Why is that? You know? Now, I'm going to show you why. Okay? This is the screen that came with my dehydrator. And I'm not impressed with this at all. All right? Because it doesn't set perfectly down in there where nothing can get around and fall down into these edges and you see they have these things where you can put your finger okay all these little pieces of corn and stuff can fall right through there you see that folks right down through here unlike with my screen all right i cut it so it's right up against the edge where nothing can fall through this and see how fine this is nothing's going through that folks so i would suggest Buying this screen, you can get it right on line. Now it comes in a square piece. So you're going to have to cut it like I did show you when I did this. You're going to have to cut it to fit whatever size tray you have and everything else. But this works so much better because I think next time I'm going to use my other piece and put it down here. So I now I don't have to clean up a mess down here. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Don't spend the money buying the things that they... They want you to buy that are for the dehydrator because these things are really expensive. You can buy the screen and do it yourself really cheap. You know, these things, you know, I mean, maybe for uh, a little bit larger things or something. But if you're doing like corn and peas and things of that nature, these are not good to use. So go with these kind of screens. All right. So that was the tip I just wanted to show everybody. Once again for joining me on Dehydration Fridays. And we did the lovely vegetable corn, or whatever you want to call it. But everybody likes corn, all right? So if you dehydrate this, you throw it into your canning jar, mylar bag with an oxygen absorber and everything else, vacuum seal this, ba this bad boy right here, and you know, you're good to go for 15 years, and you just did it yourself, and you just saved a lot of money. Now, remember the pointers that I pointed out that you may want to look into so you don't have a mess to clean up like I get to clean up now. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me again for Dehydration Friday, and this week is corn. 
And I'd like to thank everybody for sharing this video, for liking the video, for subscribing to my channel, and hit that little bell so you get notified every time that I post a video. So until next time, folks, you all stay safe, keep prepping, and make sure that you're doing your homework and taking some of the tips. This way here might save you a little time and money. Till next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.